I get hit in the head a lot um, with balls. Yes! Um, and, and this is just the beginning of why I'll probably be single for the rest of my life. No! Um, yes! Yeah. Yeah. Big, little, round, eyes on hard, soft, and the occasional wiffle ball. And after dating a Michigan soccer player for quite some time, the whole team called me the ball whisperer. I said okay. Um, anyway, I also get bit by dogs in the ass. True story. And coincidentally, with all of these injuries, my dad is a doctor. So I had to <laughs> Okay, so I had to I had the convenience of calling him for emergencies only about every other day when I think I'm balding at 23 um, to ask him why I don't tan anymore and when I'm bleeding because I can't stand the sight of my own blood. And recently I got a bloody nose and I fainted. And um, I'll have to say thank God for my close friends because once a month I have a total meltdown. <laughs> I get bit, I bleed, I cry, I'm on the ground horizontal bleeding, I keep bleeding, keep, keep I was so ready for an abusive relationship. But, uh, I'm still hoping I'll even get that lucky. And apparently I'm indestructible and not scarred enough yet, and after a night of hot tubbing and some cock tails, and um, by my dad and um, I'm half naked on the gurney and I have to pee and I broke the seal an hour ago and uh, like I had embarrassed my dad enough being the nearly naked adolescent drunk doctor's daughter in the ER um, I had to make a game time decision do I pee in my suit and get away with that no do I ask for a bedpan or do I suffer through a catheter I ask the doctor to kindly put down the needle and thread, and I take off sprinting down the ER hall. Trying to contain my adolescent boobs and waving to all my dad's colleagues who happen to be my parents' friends, Dr. Johnson and Dr. Lachek, and really commenting on my trap legs because I'm quite fast. She has great legs. And uh, from then on, um, my dad conveniently keeps a suture kit at home, and he insists that he can heal anything. So yeah, uh, I'm sure we've all had crushing older men once or twice. Yes, no. Well, I have, and I was nine, and Joe was 16, and I finally had built up the courage to do it, to finally kiss him on the cheek. The cheek that looked so nice and round and perfect under his khaki pants. And um, oh, you know, just me, but um, anyways, I guess I wasn't bring home to mom material because I'm a kiss ass. Ass kiss -er. I don't know which one. And I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going wrong in this world of dating. And it doesn't help that I'm pretty awkward. And after smoking a doobie, um, I'm awkward at the time, starts moving for the kiss. And I suddenly become Pocahontas in my head. Uh, I'm wearing a loincloth. I have on the most amazing turquoise jewelry. And I have a sudden ability to talk to willow trees. And naturally, mid makeout, I'm sure everyone would do, they start singing. Just around the river bend.
Okay, so it's a mermaid outfit, the red hair, the shell, the bikini, but whatever. Um, so yeah, here's my attempt to not be single forever. You can find me at the bar. I might kiss your ass when you bend over, but I promise no tongue.